on YouTube. I hope everybody's doing absolutely fantastic. A um, few updates here. Obviously, we're paying. We're doing our thing over here. Had a long day at work. It's Tuesday afternoon for me. I kind of went to work. About 30-something hours there. Not much sleep. Not a big deal. Uh, but, you know, I like the overtime, right? It is what it is. That being said, on Sunday, we had our White Plain shows. Me, uh, Nash, Paul, Kevin, Sean stopped by. A bunch of people stopped by. And uh, long story short, guys, uh, we didn't sell much. Not a big deal. But what was nice to see is that the line was wrapped around the door, okay? Which tells me there's a resurgence of the White Plains show. It shows me that the hobby is still cranking, still doing its thing. We were kind of pushed off into the annex. Could be why we had uh, poor sales. But regardless, it was nice to, nice to interact with people. And nice to see that the hobby and the industry are still booming. And the fact that the White Plains show maybe might make a nice little comeback here. That being said, guys, I actually had an interesting question uh, at the White Plains show about my paint project, what I'm doing with my paint project. Now, obviously, I, I've spoke about paint uh, often. I actually have some of these double head paint clouds over here. I'll show off some of these males. We have two males right now. Really, really cool looking. The heads actually look wild, right? That head influence, absolutely insane. So that's probably what a yellow belly, double head paint clown male. Really, really crazy what these heads do, uh, what the head influence does with paint. So obviously we're trying to work paint into our clown pie project here, uh, clown, clown pies, etc. But here's another male, right? Not as crazy uh, het influence here, but still nonetheless visual. Uh, and we have a couple of females here. I'll show them to you. I'll show them to you. We'll pull a couple of them out. Like this beautiful female right here. All right, another double head paint clown female. We got a two to five ratio growing up. We did lose one of the females. She never actually shed out of the egg. Never really wanted to eat. She actually ate once and then kind of regurg half regurgitated it. It was a weird situation. I don't think she was fully developed uh, internally. With that being said, guys, even though we are pairing our paint boy to some other clowns, we do have our paint going to some other paints. So I kind of want to talk about what we'll be doing with our paint project in 2024. What we plan on doing with making you know double recessives, triple recessives, and even our visual paint stuff in general. So why not just start off the rip, guys? I mean, you guys have seen the male often. I'll show him off one more time. He's an absolute house. Uh, he's actually in a tub right now. I was gone for two days, so I don't even know if they locked. This right here is our stud. This is the male we're using, all right? He's about a year and a half, two years, about two years old now. And, I mean, he's got to be, I don't know. I don't know. Just looking at him, he's probably, what, 1,400 grams, 1,500 grams. He's a beast. Locks right away. Nice, mature male. Eats and locks. He's doing it all for us. All right, 1,300 grams. Absolute studs. We got our yellow belly paint boy. He is obviously the man we will be utilizing for our paint project. All right. So what are we doing with him? So we have quite a bit of het paint females. Obviously, we bought last season or season and a half ago, give or take. So that's kind of what we're utilizing him for. So I kind of want to show off what we're pairing him to and what he's been locking with. The girl he's actually with now is the first girl he ever locked with that was het paint. Besides the actual het paint from last season, this girl right here, guys, is an orange dream. Uh, cinnamon het paint or het sentinel female. He's been locked with her quite often. She's putting on some really, really nice size. So we're really looking forward to getting some nice OD YB cine paints, right? Or some con or, or some sort of com uh oh easy mama bear. Some sort of uh combo there in between. All right guys we're looking forward to this. You know I love my OD YB uh, combos. Never mind throwing cinnamon on there and get some nice paint influence in there. Should be an absolute gorgeous project right there with that female. So the next girl we're going to be locking him up with, and he's been locking with, and honestly, I probably should have started with this girl, is just a head paint. Nothing crazy. She's a little older. Uh, just a normal head paint. She's eating really, really well. She's locking with him. So again, guys, just trying to get some paints on the ground here. Really looking forward to that. Uh, she's, again, she's a little older. Just been getting a nice big clutch at her. She put on some nice size, nice and thick there. She's well into the 2,000 gram uh, range. So we're definitely excited about that. He's been locking with her. The third visual, well, Het paint girl, I guess you could say, that he's been locking with is this girl right here. Pretty excited about this project also. I'm starting to fall in love with some of these darkening jeans, guys. So this girl right here is uh, sister of the last het paint girl. It's actually a cinnamon leopard het paint. He's been locking with her also, and she's building really nicely. So I'm really, really excited about that right there, guys. Obviously, getting some of those darkening jeans involved with our paint project. We have the yellow belly to brighten them up. We have leopard, and we have, of course, cinnamon in there on both the females. So really looking forward to this girl as well. She's kind of going neck and neck with that orange dream cinnamon girl uh, with pairing and locking and eating. So I anticipate hopefully getting clutches out of those three girls. That 
being said, guys, we are all. We also do have two more girls sitting right here. I'll show them off. These are two OD head paint females. All right, one's in deep, deep shed right now, and the other one's sitting right here, uh, kind of just chilling. All right. So both those two females right there are actually OD head paint or het sentinel see the od right there the influence there and that's the girl that actually she's in the in shed when you look at her she's actually one of those examples of why uh, it was so difficult to breed why people were interested in breeding paint because it's almost like uh some of the hats actually looked almost visual and they were confused whether or not it was a coat on or actually uh a recessive but that being said guys i did introduce him to them i didn't see any visual locks I'm not overly worried about that because like we spoke about a couple videos ago, there is a lot of genetic testing coming down the pipe. So I anticipate paint slash sentinel will probably be on that list eventually. So I might actually utilize those two OD het paint females in other projects, maybe clown pie stuff, maybe stranger stuff, stuff like that. And eventually raise them up, keep everybody, raise them up and test everything for het paint or het sentinel. All right, but we are pairing our yellow belly paint to two other females, guys. And it kind of something I touched on in other videos. But of course, it is these two girls right here who are building pretty nicely for us so far, okay? So on the left right here, we have a pastel clown head, uh, head hypo, orange ghost, and pastel clown head pied, all right? He's been locking with them pretty readily over the last few months. Um, and they're, they're building about 10 to 12 millimeter follicles. So I'm really looking forward to getting them involved uh, with that paint project. Obviously, guys, we're going for the, the double hets there. But more importantly, we're going for the triple hets here. Like I spoke about in other videos, obviously with this girl here, she's a, a paint, uh, sorry, a pastel clown head hypo, pastel clown head pied, right? So anticipating getting these two clutches, which I really want to do, obviously everything will be pastel or yellow belly or both, double head paint clown. And the next step is obviously to get everything tested. Most importantly, the females to get tested for either het hypo or het pied. And that's where we're going to utilize Charlie, right? At greatriderreptileshedtesting.com. Because that will really try to put us in the forefront of the paint project. Because not only will we have animals that are at least double het paint clown, but also we're hopefully going to get some nice triple hets. All right, so over here, hoping for obviously some nice pastel yellow belly, triple het paint clown hypo. Same thing over here, but swap hypo with pied. And that would be the name of the game here, guys, right? We all know that's kind of where the industry is going, and that's where we kind of want to go with our projects also. So that kind of brings us back up to these two OD head paint girls. And obviously, we're talking about um, actually getting things tested, we anticipate paint will come down the pipe. In fact, we're going to start sending Charlie our lesser paint female sheds and that yellow belly uh, paint boy shed so he can start determining and solidify uh, the markers for het paint animals. So obviously we're gonna start utilizing these girls in different projects, probably gonna wait. Um, I do have this male actually listed right now. This male right here is, uh, he's 380 grams. I spoke to a few people. We had him pegged at pastel, orange green leopard, maybe yellow belly pied head clown. Now I don't think it might be pastel, yellow belly fire leopard uh, pied uh, clown rather. So if he gets up to size, again, he's 380 grams. If he gets up to size, we might actually utilize him it with these two girls over here guys all right why well you know what if he's od they make some nice super od triple hats uh because these are both od if he's yellow belly and fire and leopard even better right hopefully we can hit some nice od yb fire leopard triple head paint clown pies all right so we're kind of saving these girls right here and like i said we'll pair them up to these girls and when they go we'll keep everything and once that paint uh shed testing comes out we'll get everything tested for paint so everything will come out at least a nice coat on double head clown uh, pie, and then maybe, if you're lucky, get some nice head paints involved in there, too, some triple heads, getting involved with that stuff there. Now, that brings us to this girl right here. This is actually our only, yeah, she's on Coco. Uh, she wasn't eating on Cypress, so I switched her back to Coco. This is our only visual paint girl. This is our lesser paint. Um, been kind of going back and forth what we're going to do with her. She's about a year and a half old at this point, and she's sitting at around 12 to 1,300 grams, which I'm not overly worried about how big she is right now because we shows a couple more months. We're waiting on a male to figure out. What I think, this is the preliminary uh, discussion I'm having with myself and my comrades over here on Long Island, is probably putting him to this boat boy right here, okay? That, of course, is our high OD yell by fire, stranger clown, hold back for 2023. It's about seven months old, 650 grams. I love to get them together. Obviously, I love stranger, and stranger, as we know, it's like anything else. The codom's gonna slowly go down in value, and people are not gonna want it as much and just clown. But if I can start incorporating stranger involved with clown pied stuff, aka that's why he's with an ODYB uh, leopard pied head clown, 
um, and also the, the paint game. That would be the plan here. So this is a pairing. I'm looking forward to getting it towards the end of the season, of course. And the goal here, if you guys haven't figured it out yet, is obviously essentially to make a double head paint for a double head clown paint version of him. These are going to take off on me. So let me grab these two ding dongs. Oh my Jesus. So obviously the goal here, guys, is to kind of get a double, uh, double, double head clown paint stuff involved what i essentially like to do is recreate him obviously double head so the goal for that pairing when, it, when of course he kind of figures out what he's got to do in there will be try to make some nice high od yellow belly fire stranger double head clay pound cl clown uh what's just happened there paint clowns to uh raise up right get stranger involved with that paint clown project i like paint a lot I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens. I like to get spot nose involved in there, so forth and so on, guys. So that is what we're doing with our paint project in 2024. Obviously, we're looking to hit some nice visual paints in general, get some of those on the ground, get some females start holding back so we can do some of the other things. What we're trying to do also is get one or two steps ahead in the paint project. You know those guys like Justin and other guys throughout the world here will probably have quad recessives involving paint. So we're not that... We're just not up to par with that. So we're gonna try to catch up a little bit here. So we're gonna try to make some nice triple heads uh, when it comes to our paint clown pie project, so forth and so on, guys. That is the plan as of now. Obviously that lesser paint lesser paint might actually change to the new mail over here, which I'll, uh, I'll show off to you guys in Saturday's video. So we'll stand by for that one. Again, it is, what is it, the 16th of January. Uh, we have a clutch due to cut in about I think two weeks right here, which I'm looking forward to that clutch. That, of course, is this boy over here is our pastel ODYB possible fire, possible ever pied head clown. That's a black head, double head. Took like a nice poop when I put him in there. Um, they actually lock it up. That's actually a holdout for 2021, I think. So I'm happy about that. But he was bred to a clown, and that's the next clutch we will be cutting in 2024, um, which will actually be able to help us solidify exactly what's in him. I think we have a pretty good understanding. Uh, especially talking to a few people that know much more than I do. So that's where we're at with our, our paint project, guys. That's what we're doing. We're trying to get some heads on the ground, trying to get some visuals on the ground, and trying to get some nice clown paint hypos and clown head, clown paint pies action going in the next few years, guys. So looking forward to that. What do you guys think? You think paint's going to be the next big thing? You think people are going to like paint? I'm going to waste my time. I don't know. I like paint, so you can't really waste your time if you like what you're doing. Uh, other than that, though, guys, that's all I got for you. Stand by for Saturday, unveiling the new mail and what we'll be doing with him. Um, again, we're going to keep going over some of these projects in 2024, guys. Really looking forward to what we got going on here. Big deal. A lot of nice stuff coming down the pipe. And again, keep fucking going. All right? Listen, I appreciate you guys watching. Anything, guys? Deep? Jump? Oh, You're a big thing, All right. All right, guys. Be safe. Watch the six.